Hey everybody, this is Aaron with GeoAce here for another QGIS in the field tutorial. Today we're going to be covering another frequently requested topic and that's going to be um, attachments or photos in your Q field project. Um, this is going to be video one of two. So this, uh, there are two ways to implement photos. One of them is the which is today's is gonna to be a kind of single photo implementation, which means one photo for one feature. Um, the, the second way to do it is gonna be the next video, and that's going to be um, multiple photos per any one feature. And so if that interests you, um, that's gonna be coming up next, so just kind of stay tuned for that. Um, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and dive into um, attachments in QField. All right, so one thing that I forgot to mention in the introduction was that this should work both for iOS and Android devices. I have both and I tested it on both and it works just fine. So um, before we get started with anything, I'm going to actually take us to the file explorer to our project folder. So um, I always, as a rule of thumb, just check the properties and get the path from properties just because it seems to be a fail safe method. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to make sure that I'm hitting the right directory, I suppose. And um, within that, you're just going to paste the project in, and we're going to create a folder. And this is going to mimic what is on your devices, but we're going to put a, we're just going to call the folder DCIM, DSIM. And um, that's all we need to do there. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize that or X out of that, and go into our plants and hit properties. This should all be familiar. I go to attributes form. We've been using the drag and drop designer. So make sure that your photo has been added to your form layout here. And once you click on a photo in your form layout, you go to widget type attachment and select existing files. Fine. Here's, here's that nuance. Uh, there's always some nuances to QGIS. So uh, this is going to really ease the syncing back and forth between uh, QGIS and um, your devices. So you're going to put that at project underscore home variable and then plus and then uh, slash. I believe it is a forward slash and then dsim, the folder that we just created. Oh, and we have to store path as relative path, rel relative to project path. Um, this is going to basically tell any device that uh, Q, whether it's Q field or QGIS, it's going to say, hey, your DSIM folder is right here, and um, I want you to access the photos in here and also store them in here. Um, and the other thing that we want to do here, this is more for the QGIS side, uh, integrated document viewer. We want to go to image. And I actually like to hit the hyperlink too, um, just so I can uh, get a better resolution if I want to. Um, you can set a re resolution in the integrated document viewer. Feel free to play with that if you want to. We're not going to make this required. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. And the next most important nuance is the thing that I always forget to do before I sync, and that's save. We just got to make sure we save our project. And um, from there, we can click our Q Field Cloud project hit field ops and then we have to push it up make sure that when you're syncing here you're basically pushing everything up locally uh, if if you don't want to do the geo package that's fine um, but make sure that that the dot qgs is going from local to the cloud all right and from now that that has been done let's go ahead and load in the project in our um, mobile device. All right, we'll see you there. All right, so we have our field ops um, project downloaded locally here. If you're not sure how to sync everything up with Q Field Cloud, I would encourage you to check out tutorial one of this series. Just make sure that if you have your project available locally, that you remove it and then re-download it uh, with your new version. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go to Q Field Form Tutorials Plants. We're in edit mode, so we're good to go there. And we're going to test this out. And let's start by putting in a species, basically filling out the required fields. OK, and then adjust that. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, for the photo, we're going to go ahead and just take a new one of my beautiful um, 
mushroom <laughs> mouse pad. Lovely. All right, and then uh, we're going to go to use photo. You can see that it's added there. And let's go ahead and hit add feature. Now, if you were to go back and click on that feature, uh, it should come up with a photo there. Yep, looks like we're good there. And uh, all that's left to do once you have collected all your photos, so on and so forth, and your points is just push changes. You can synchronize. I would recommend pushing changes because then you're just kind of sending the features. And um, looks like it's successfully pushed. And now uh, we're going to go back to QGIS just to show you that everything is synced up well. Okay, so uh, we'll see you there. All right, so now that we're back in QGIS, the most important thing to do is actually to wait. Um, so if you especially are pushing like dozens or even hundreds of images up to the cloud, it's going to take some time to do that uh, syncing, just to push from your device to the cloud. And then you're going to be pulling it back down. So um, wait an appropriate amount of time for the amount of features that you're pushing up. In this case, we only have one, so it should be good to go. I'd say if you only have one, maybe wait two or three minutes just to make sure. But uh, we're in QGIS right now, and we just have to click on our cloud. We can click on our project. You can see it's brown, like, oh, shoot, I need to do something here. And now we should see the image pop up. Yep, so you can see here that we have... Uh, a couple images to add here and we want to in this case prefer the cloud because we're just adding the images and um, perform actions go to OK and close and just to show the full circle here let's go ahead and go into our field ops dsim let's make sure we have our mushroom mouse pad here yep we're good to go we got a mushroom mouse pad and uh, let's find that feature. Aha, so one thing that I just came across, I'm gonna go ahead and show it in the video because you might come across it too, is that my images actually beat the features. Uh, so the last sync, uh, you only saw the images, you didn't see the geo package. So in this case, we have to download the geo package. I don't want to mess with the document. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the data. So I'm going to perform the actions there and then our feature should be showing up. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Now we have a new feature. Check that out. And there's our mushroom. All right, we have now gone full circle. We have everything that we need to do. Um, again, the, the most important thing is just time. You need to give time, especially I'm in the United States and the servers I'm assuming are somewhere in Switzerland uh, for QField Cloud. So you just need to give it time to do its thing. Um, but that's how to do this from start to finish. And it's gonna be different for the multiple images per feature. And we're going to go over that in the next video. So we'll see you there. Thanks. Bye.